have to find justice for Kathleen and for her family. A tragic update to the search for a missing Bay Area woman. Pasco County Sheriff says Kathleen Moore is dead and her accused killer is locked up. No one has seen or heard from the 34-year-old Pinellas County woman in nearly eight days. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. Her boyfriend, Colin Knapp, is charged with her murder this evening. News Channel Ace Justin Shecker is live at the Pasco County Jail. Justin, they made this arrest without finding the body. They did, Keith and Jen. Good evening to you both. Investigators say they built their case against 30 year old Colin Knapp with blood evidence and his inconsistent statements from speaking with friends, co workers over at Whiskey Wings in St. Pete, and her family. It's clear a lot of people in this community care deeply about Kathleen Moore. And I'm really going to miss her very, very much. I love her with all my heart. In the days since her daughter's disappearance, Kathleen Moore's mother says she feared the worst. I had that gut feeling. It's like a mother's instinct and you just know when you don't, uh, when you can't sense your, your child's spirit. Karen Moore learned this missing persons case became a homicide investigation hours before Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nako announced. We've arrested Colin Scott Knapp with second degree murder. Photographed together 10 days ago on Thanksgiving, Moore's on and off again boyfriend now sits in the Pasco County Jail. Sheriff Nako says Colin Knapp isn't cooperating with the search to find her body. Right now you have an opportunity to do something positive when you had done so much evil. Please share with us right now where Kathleen is. After leaving with Knapp from a friend's house in Largo, Moore vanished in the early morning hours of Monday, November 29th. Through their investigation, the sheriff says detectives learned Knapp put clothing in the dumpster at the Port Ritchie Herald Seltzer Steakhouse where he works. During a painstaking search of the county landfill, deputies found his blood-stained clothing they sent to the FDLE lab. So yes, there was some blood evidence that was identified as hers on our suspect's pants. However, there is lots of blood that was located during this investigation. Deputies say that blood and other DNA evidence, along with inconsistent statements by Knapp, led to the probable cause for his arrest. The sheriff's office is sharing these photos of Knapp's Cadillac and truck as investigators continue seeking tips from the public. The most important reason to find a body is for the family. Moore's mother tells Eight on Your Side she wants her daughter to be remembered for her bubbly and outgoing personality. I truly believe that uh, we all in life have to have take a journey, you know, and I just wish that Kathleen's journey didn't stop where it did. And the suspect, Colin Knapp, has a lengthy criminal history since 2004. Sheriff Nako says he's previously been arrested for aggravated assault and domestic violence. Tonight, Knapp has requested an attorney as he sits behind bars here at the jail while he refuses to cooperate with investigators as they try to bring Kathy Moore's body home to her family. We are live tonight in Pasco County. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 